unlike any other play I've ever embarked upon. And I love its oddness and its unusualness. It's set in a depressed town in 1956, upper western New York state. The town is on its knees. One of the wealthiest women in the world returns to the town after 45 years with a proposal, a deal, money for revenge. Revenge is quite a theme yeah, yeah. in the play. And I suppose the question of what, what money can buy. Can money buy morality and can money buy a life? I don't think there's another play quite like it. It seems to be epic in scale. And we're using all corners of the Olivier stage. It's huge and then it goes very small, mm. these little intimate, sometimes two-hander scenes. Clara and Alfred, they had this extraordinary relationship as young people. He's stuck in the mud of slurry. She's gone off, gone through extraordinary hardship and, and turmoil and pain and tragedy and has come out an incredibly wealthy woman. Both of them as characters feel that their lives kind of never recovered. They both in some way need that, need that story to come they to. Need it's, they, need they need that revolution. story to be told, yeah. yeah. Whatever that means for them. And whatever the price of achieving that is, yeah. it's an extraordinary piece of writing. It's incredibly theatrical, and Tony's writing brings it alive in a totally different way. Claire Zakanassian is a sharp wit. She's mm. acerbic. She can demolish anybody with her language. A lot of the fun of doing it is because it's constantly surprising. So I think for an audience, it's going to be, oh my god. Yeah. You know, so I think it's actually <laughs> genuinely quite um, exciting, uh, and that puts a smile on your face. Yeah.